Hi there, Dr. Zwelling here, and thanks so much for coming to the bi-weekly update. And now for the update. This is August 12th. Well, the biggest news was the news that was found at the cancer conference. Every year they have a big, big conference, and they look at new treatments and this time new preventions. And it was found that aspirin is not enough. One baby aspirin is not enough to prevent colon and breast cancer. We thought that perhaps that was the case, and since that's what everyone is taking for their uh, cardiac protection, we were hoping that one baby aspirin would be enough, but it is not. Unfortunately, the study did not demonstrate what the minimum amount is needed. Therefore, I recommend at least two baby aspirin to everyone. If not two baby aspirin, if you could take a whole baby, a whole aspirin, that would be even better. That is 325 milligrams, get it coated. Obviously, if you can't tolerate it, if your stomach hurts too much, don't do that. Take a baby aspirin, get the coated kind. And by the way, for women or men, if you're interested, baby aspirin does come with calcium. So you can get all the calcium that you need, 600 milligrams, and that's probably enough if you eat a good diet and take a multivitamin. And you can get your aspirin by taking a bare coated aspirin with calcium. There you have it. That makes it easy, and you're not taking so many pills that you, you know, can't afford to eat food because you're so full, as happens to some of us. I might also add that if you're taking metformin as a singular drug or in, in a combination drug like Genumet, for instance, metformin has also been found to be a good cancer preventive. So there you go, killing two birds with one stone. You can kill the, 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 the problem with diabetes and stop it cold with Genumet and get that under control and take a couple baby aspirin coated with some calcium and you can all kinds of prevention there. So just a couple pieces of good advice. The other, I think, important piece of information that was offered was, the, was that that was offered about the GLP-1 inhibitors. Those are the medicines like Genuvia, Bieta, for instance, Victosa, that were taking for diabetes. While there was talk that this may increase the risk of pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. There is no risk, and that came to a final conclusion that was published in the annals this week. So that's on the first page of the newsletter. I suggest that you go and read it. You can find the newsletter at z-doc.com, and I do recommend that you read the newsletter every other week as it is published, but you'll find the, some links to some good articles about that study, and I think that's a really important thing to assuage anybody's concerns. That's really all that's news, excepting, of course, President Bush. President Bush got a stent, and that's wonderful, and I'm glad his, his doctors found his disease before it killed him. But wasn't it sad that he had to have a stent before they found his disease? Mm -mm -mm. Not good medical care. You know better. In fact, we had a video a couple of weeks ago on Mr. Gandolfini and the prevention of heart disease. Remember to ask your doctor, do I have any, any inflammation? Is that inflammation dead? Is my artery vessel wall cold? That's what you need to do to prevent heart attacks and stroke. You don't wait until you need a stent. Certainly, God forbid, if you become symptomatic, it's a nice thing that we have stents to put in, but that doesn't cure the disease. That just takes care of the immediate problem and sometimes relieves symptoms. If you want to prevent further vascular complications, either peripheral vascular disease, cardiac disease, carotid disease, aortic disease, I could name them. It is, it is the, one cause, the number one cause of all kinds of death. Even kidney disease can be prevented if indeed your kidney disease is vascular in nature. And that is if you ask your doctor the right question. What number of particles do I have and can we minimize that? And did we minimize any inflammation? Is my inflammation dead in the water? Is my blood vessel wall cold? Those are the questions you need to ask. You can refer to other videos in my video library if you want to have more information. Or, of course, you can call my office anytime, 24-7. Hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks. Thank you all for those of you who helped me celebrate my daddy's 90th birthday. It was wonderful, except I got the blue icing on the cake all over my dress. But... That was okay. In any event, a little personal stuff there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Please take care, and thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye now.